Yo, oh, yeah, hold on. Yo, what up? You already came on W, baby. It's Ammo's is. And this video is about relationships, of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring somebody in. That is going to help me on my endeavor to answer some very important questions when it pertains to the answers that we need to be answered in this video. Now, this video is, of course, pertaining to single mothers, pertaining to how people that want to be in a healthy relationship with people that have children, specifically mothers. What's up, Tammy? We lit, we lit, we lit, we lit. <clears throat> now, I really, really, really want this person to come on before I start the topic, before I go in, before I make my points, before I address this issue. But pretty much what we're going to be talking about is relationships. It's not, it's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. This shit should go viral. It should. Tammy, of course, you're always welcome. So I'm waiting for my cousin. This is my blood cousin. This is not a stranger. This is not a, a weird ass game banger. This is somebody that I know because we share the same ancestors. This is somebody that I trust, somebody that I love. I'm gonna go in and we're gonna do, we're gonna make it sweet. It's gonna be a bit controversial, but that's okay. I told him we were going live. I invited him. And if I have to do it once, I'll do it twice. Hey, Tam. Tambalam. Oh, Black Betty. Bambalam. No, we have to talk. We definitely have to talk, Tammy. There we go. What's up, John? I'm telling you, it's going to be lit. Make sure you share this shit. Make sure you share It's going to be a little bit controversial, but it's going to be appropriate. And of course, I got one of my favorite people in the world. Bro, it said, okay, there you go. It said you declined it. So let's get it. Let's let this magic work. So the topic is, make sure you guys share, the topic is a woman is going to choose an unhealthy relationship with their child before they choose a healthy relationship with the man. That is the topic. It's the topic. I want to talk about that. I want to help all the people out there that want to date single moms. I want to break these barriers. I want to raise the awareness and I want um, I want people to be able to build these families because there's a lot of single moms out there, man, that want to that wanna go into a new relationship. Okay. Approve. We're going to do this again.
Let's see what we got to do to pull you in. I'm trying to approve my cousin. If not, I might have to uh, close this down and go to another. It says adding. I don't know if it is not working. I don't know. It's not adding you, bro. We might have to close it down and uh, do another one. Oh, shit. It's about time. Oh, what's up, bro? Shit, chill. How you been? Chilling, chilling. You already gained on W, bro. Yeah, yeah. I told you I was going to do this. Let me turn on my little light so you can see. You know, see how Right. No. Let me turn let me turn down my little see you little settings. So yeah. So right. um, this is back to the you know topic that we had earlier that I was right. dealing with, you know, situation I was dealing with, but I had to let a female go because I had Raggedy ass key. All right. <laughs> Sorry, you know, I'm like, no, yes. man, you already know. Uh, but, but by the way, for the people that, for the females out there that's, you know, single moms and shit, yes, your kid can potentially help close the door to a good mate. Believe that. That's true. Sure. Close that door like a motherfucker. Cancel that bitch like Nina, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right so you just broke the you just kicked the door down bro i had a whole bunch of questions i still got them same questions okay Go ahead. So, i know you got a whole bunch of questions but i'm just uh, okay so i was having issues with you know somebody was asking me a whole bunch of questions about this same topic and i call you know the most wise person in the world you know her some people might know her as Don Cynthia Thompson, but I like to call her mom. You know what I'm saying? And she told me, you know, a woman is going to choose an unhealthy relationship with her child before she chooses a healthy relationship with a man that is going to elevate her, that is going to feed her mind, body, and soul, that is going to bring her to a new sense of reality, that is going to that that is going to align her with the universe, that is going to put her in position so she could be in possession. Now, the thing about that is, you know, I, I never really considered that because, you know, in the, in the, no offense to anybody that is non-black, but in the black community, I personally feel that the relationships that we have with the children are balanced because I mean, besides the fact that there's not a balance between, you know, the parental, usually, the parental units as far as a masculine and feminine figure, I feel like, you know, the African way is, it, it's very, I don't even want to go, I know I started, I know I built it up and I did all of that, but I'm going to scratch that. But the thing about it is, I feel that we do things in a specific way that is very appropriate to the development of a child. But the thing about it is, bro, I want to touch on these points. So the first point that I want to go off of, when a when a woman when a woman wants to introduce a a man into the relationship with her child, she is essentially saying I want you to give yourself to me for the sake of raising this, raising this child. You know, a single mother is going to say, I want you, mm -hmm. you have inside of you, what I want you to put in my child and potentially make more children with me. And I think 
that's unfair to a certain extent because it, it comes to a point where that, that woman should be serving that man to a certain extent. You feel me? I I agree, but it, but I kind of I kind of agree. Like relationships should be fifty fifty, in a way. It is. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, so let me I, stop you. Know, you let me stop you right there. Let me stop you right there. Let me stop you right there. Yeah. But what is the what is the man getting out of that? Like you're ra you're raising oh, my oh. child for me, for what? For some pussy or because I love you? That's not enough, man. Like, that's not enough. Oh, hold on, hold on. I got you. Like love. I said, I it's, it's 50 50. You want, you want this for man to be there for your child? You should mm -hmm. be there to cater to him and everything else. You should. There you go. So go if ahead. you. So if he's doing this, putting inviting clothes, food on the table for you and your child, you should be cooking those meals, cleaning the house, doing other things. That man mm -hmm. should not. That man shouldn't even not even have a positive thought because I mean a negative thought because you put in so much positivity into him. Exactly. So it's like I said, it don't it don't have to have necessarily be money or sex or anything. It should be something that man can still instill in himself to be a better person. Okay, so Francis Francis says, does it feel like an obligation? So I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna answer that very as quickly as possible, Francis Francis. So um this is my blood cousin. I grew up with him since I was since I could remember. So when I was born, my mom has had two boyfriends, two major um relationships since I was born. My stepfather, Robert, and another boyfriend named Kermit Middleton, right? Robert, my little sister's uh, dad, he didn't, he wasn't much of a father to me, which I never had a problem with because I don't, he was cool. He taught me how to throw a football. He taught me how to throw a baseball. He taught me how to play baseball. He taught me a lot of masculine things. He took me to my first baseball game and what have you. Like he wasn't, he wasn't much of a father, but I never expected that from him because I always knew who my dad was. You feel me? So he wasn't, no, that wasn't his obligation. He wasn't obligated to raise me. He didn't raise me. You wouldn't, if you would, if you were to meet him, you wouldn't think that, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't, I'm not his predecessor. You feel me? So I'm not his, I'm not his, I'm not a part of his legacy. You feel me? He didn't have but any responsibility but to but make me. But at the same time, business. hold on, hold on, not to cut you off. Because I was, Go you know, because I witnessed it. But at the same time, if you needed something or wanted something, he was there for you to ask, though. He wouldn't mind giving it exactly. to you. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. But at the same time, like, he, you know, yeah. Go ahead, my he bad. Wasn't, but at the same time, my mother was a, a young mother, bro. My mom was, she wasn't a teen mom, but she had me when I, when she was 21. And he was 20. And I knew I met him when I was two years old. So I knew him before I even had my first memories type shit. You know what I'm saying? Is it your obligation to to do what? Like the point if for all the men out there and for the all the ladies out there, you don't need to be you don't need to be. I'm just going to use my the language that I like to speak in. You don't need to be fucking with a nigga or fucking with a single mom. If you don't plan on being there long term, that's a fact. Like my mom's second boyfriend, I didn't meet that nigga for two whole years. You feel me? So you don't need to be dating and bringing niggas in and out the house. If you have a if you have a child, you don't you don't have to like because that's some traumatizing ass shit. You feel me? But the whole thing about it is. It's about the foundation. It's about no. There's no. There's no obligation. There's no responsibility. If you want to be, if you want to be free, that's that's a whole different type of brain. You heard me. So the next thing that I want to ask you about um, what 
what do you think it takes to build that bridge between somebody that has a healthy relationship with their man and an unhealthy relationship with their child? And the whole thing is an unhealthy relationship with their child. We're talking about that a child that... Go ahead, go ahead. That's like a child that's being what disrespectful and not had bad manners and, and all that. It don't know how to behave at social events and stuff like that. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Okay. Like, like I said, I I deal with that in like in the past, before way before I met Sarah and stuff like that. Way before. Before you continue, you know your camera is sideways, right? It's I don't, I don't know how to, I don't know what my camera is, you know. But it was like that the whole time. I just didn't. Is that right, better? Cool. Cool. Right. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, like I said. Mm. Unhealthy <laughs> as far as the, the boundaries. Unhealthy as far like, as. Like I said, the authoritative issue, unhealthy as far as as far as there being like super issue between the child. Excuse me? Like the child being like super disability and stuff like that. Uh the motherfucker's bad. I like that motherfucker's bad. That motherfucker is bad. That motherfucker's a, a a pyromaniac. The mother he's smart, but he's that nigga's a pyromaniac, metaphorically, physically, and all kind of shit. That nigga shit. is bad. That nigga does not have any home training. So I got I got too many cameras, too many woodwork, and all that in my house to deal with a pyromaniac. Like, I know you're <laughs> not about to be getting tax money, so you need to train that motherfucker or train me. To get the fuck away from me. Sure. Man, I told you. What do you think that comes from, bro? Why do you think a woman would rather be around a badass kid before they be around a healthy man? Like, if you know I say, what? look, go ahead. Oh, oh. it's something familiar about it. That's what it is. It's that familiarity. They used yeah. to be around that bad kid, that whole kid's life. So when it, when they see this man, and he's showing some amazing things, showing right. some potential, and could show her the risings of a better lifestyle, mm -hmm. that's new. That's different. He's not bringing anything toxic in her environment, mm -hmm. and that's that's unfamiliar territory. And that's right. <laughs> Right. I, I can't handle it. I can't handle that. You can't, I can't handle, handle the safety. I can't handle right. it. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna touch on I'm gonna <laughs> touch on something that one of my mentors told me, bro. And Francis, Francis, I'm gonna I'm gonna read your comments right right after this because you're saying some good shit, Francis, Francis. Shit, I, so I'm not, it's I can't like, even see those comments. Oh no. So uh, Francis, <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a theory out there for you, bro. So pretty much, the reason that she had a. The reason that she had a child with the with the nigga is because his ass was toxic, right? Because he wasn't boring. Somebody, my mother always she told me a woman would rather you put your hands on her than her be boring to you. You feel me? Because bro, my mom says some fucking deep ass shit, but she has a really good job and she doesn't want to go live with me. Whatever. I'ma get her. I'ma get her when I get this million dollars. Whatever the fuck. But she was so pretty much the child reminds the, the child's bad behavior, right? Peep this. The child's bad behavior reminds her of the dude, right? Which is why she's a single mother. She jumped she dumped the nigga because he's toxic. But the child's bad behavior reminds her of the father. But <laughs> She misses the <laughs> nigga subconsciously, which is why she allows the child to act like a fucking asshole because he's a fucking jerk. And he needs to be put in his place because he needs a dad. But she she perpetuates this shit because she misses the nigga, right? She misses the baby daddy. 
That's why she lets him act like a fucking asshole. But at the same time, she wants to get another dude to basically what they call reparent him. But she's not going to put the other nigga... A, she's not good. a woman is never going to put her... Unless she's a bad parent, unless she's a bad mother, or unless she's super logical or super masculine. She's not going to put the nigga above her child in order to reprogram her child because she misses that nigga like subconsciously. Like you consciously had a baby with this nigga or maybe you had a baby with this nigga on accident. But he's only acting an asshole because you let him because you missed the baby daddy. You feel me? So let's get to these comments. So Francis Francis said, have you ever been in that position to yourself to father a child that's not yours or to love a woman with a prior child? Um, yes. Yes, that's my, my situation mother, right now. But my baby I don't... mom has three kids, but I'm not it with that. Um, bitch cause yeah, my, like I said, my, you know, my situation. So we got to, we got to what? She about to be 15. She biologically, she's she's biologically not mine, but she's a great ass kid, great child. You've been with Sarah ever. for what five years? Probably more than that, huh? You've been with yeah. Sarah for more than five years. It's, it's like seven, <laughs> seven, almost ten. So Francis, <laughs> Fran Francis, Francis, make sure you share this to a group. Share this video so we can help some more single mothers. Um, but we're like, we're helping the single mothers, and we're helping the the young people that's trying to get with some single this, mothers. But, but the situation I was the situation I'm talking about is way before I met Sarah and Tate. Way before I met right. those. Two. Let me read these comments real quick, bro. I only got four. So yes, very much. So to parent children in general should always be long term. Exactly. Um, because children love unconditionally. That's a fact. She also said. I would think a person's capacity to love healthy and parent healthy would come from upbringing and personal experiences. That's a fact. At what point are we held accountable for that? I don't know what that means, accountable for what exactly. Bro, I love your expressions, but I agree. Okay, Um, the thing about it is... I, I told I told this I told this one chick up front about a hey, yo your child's behavior and it was at it was at one of my family events. I had bought I had bought her and her badass son. I'm gonna liberate on that so nobody think it's you know my stepdaughter now. No, it was right. this chick, my ex one of my exes and her badass son. I bought them to <laughs> like a family right. event. And I and I asked her because I'm I'm not allowed I'm not allowed to put my hands on this child because she said it's not my child I can't I can't you know discipline or not right right that's normal yeah so um <laughs> so I'm not allowed to do anything and I told her hey you gotta get the kid because this other kid about to fuck your kid up and they about the same age mm hmm. She didn't. She she didn't. She didn't listen to me. She she said they, kids gonna be kids. She my look, my little baby cousin, pocket that motherfucker. Oh boy, it was so funny. That's that's crazy. You talked about that, so I want to talk about two more things, bro. So hold on. Hold on. Go ahead, go ahead. And she, and, hold on. I want to just finish this. Story. If she come, ahead, she comes. She comes to me. And she said, look what your cousin had did to, our, you know, our kid. I'm like, our kid, you said it's not mine. I can't discipline. I can't do nothing. You, you told me kids going to be kids and let them play. So we let them play and he got fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Now he got a bloody nose, black and everything. I'm like, oh, you should have stopped. <laughs> I, t I tried to tell him, tried to tell you, like, hey, you get a, get a kid. You didn't want to get him, now look at him. We don't, so, know, we don't know if it's barbecue sauce or it's red blood. It might be barbecue sauce, it might be blood, and it might be a little bit of both. That's not even funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, 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 
sorry if I think it was this is funny, but I just had to, you know, reminisce. Yeah. And, hey. These are my people. So let me um, let me ask you about something. I'm gonna introduce you into a, a psychological theory. I really don't like the name of this um theory, but it's called the um, I fucking hate the name of this theory, bro. It's called the it's called the sexy son syndrome, right? So pretty much what it is is like a mother is going to train her. A single mom is going to train her son to be the man that she wish she would have had, but she's not going to tell the little boy exactly like how he should behave socially because that's not what women do naturally. So, for example, if a single mom will tell her son, if he's like, hey, mom, I like this girl, what should I do? She's probably going to, we'll just say, for example, she'll say, well, just bring her, just be nice. Just be yourself. Just bring her flowers. Just give her compliments, which we both know that's not how you, that's not how you, that's not how you do anything. That's not how you catch a, a female, right? But the, at the end of the day, if he asks her, hey, mom, why did you, you know, why did you interact with my dad on that level? She'll be like, because he fucking, he had all the bitches. Um, all my friends said he has some good ass dick. All my friends said he was an asshole. All my friends kept saying that he was ignoring them. And I was like, damn, this nigga must have all the bitches. She's not going to tell her son, hey, um, just compliment women and then ignore them. And then just be a dickhead, just be an asshole and, uh, and just fuck all the bitches around you. And then eventually... They're, all her friends are going to say he has some good ass dick and then you're just going to get the baddest bitch out the click. He's not going to... Your mo, your mom is not going to tell you to just fuck all the bitches until you get the best one. She's not going to say that, which is how you get bitches. That's, that's essentially... You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to expound on that. But... <laughs> you're not a, woman is not gonna tell, a woman is not going to tell her son to do that. So... The thing about it is, <laughs> the thing about it is, my nigga, if a woman is going to get somebody that's going to accept somebody with a single, like with a child, she's going to get somebody that's going to be, you know, the nice guy, essentially, usually. So how do you approach certain situations as far as you don't, you don't want to necessarily go against that. You don't want to. I don't even know what I'm trying to ask you, bro. It's like you don't want to perpetuate. You just don't want the nigga. You don't want the nigga to act like a little bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. how do you approach that situation? Like, you don't want her to keep telling the nigga, "Oh, just be a little. Just do this and do this and do this." So, how do you override that program that she's? Ready to give the nigga. Like, 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 um, like this. Like, I, li I like it when, you know, coming from like a stepdad and stuff like that, or a potential stepdad, when you have both parents actually in a picture, so you can call them, right. so you can call like a meeting with, you know, the baby mom, the dad, and obviously mm -hmm. yourself, and all three of y'all form a plan to get little, to get little badass Timmy on track. Right. Because little badass Timmy need to be on track. You know what I'm saying? And it takes uh -huh. all three of y'all with the same plan, the same, you know, they, you know what I'm saying? They come up. With that something. was a hard question. That was a hard question to ask you. So like. <laughs> But I, I never, you, I never, been, I not, and that crazy thing is, I have friends that've been in that situation, but I never had had the situation where I can get everybody on the same fucking page, so little Timmy can be a productive citizen. Because mm -hmm. for what, I, for that, for what I see, you know, since it's been years since we've been together, what I see now, little, little Timmy need money on his books. Yeah. 
<laughs> I see people. I be. I see people hashtag little freaks, free little Timmy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, hey, we we could have we could have scratched. Good, we uh-huh. we could have we, we could have we could have scratched this little conversation. Damn near a decade ago. All right. So, <laughs> how old were you when um Don came in the picture? See. Don right. always been in the picture since I was, since like uh, before I was like really bored. So he was, you know. Cool. So cool. like my stepdad was like my real dad. No offense to my biological father Stan, but you know he he's a good dude too. You know we start actually we start getting starting to have a better relationship. You know with each other. You know since that is my biological dad. I got no, I got no ill feelings towards them or nothing like that. Obviously, I love all my siblings, and I got, I oh gosh, I got like, I don't know, I got a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm not gonna. That's cool, man. I'm trying to have like two or three more myself, bro. But um, oh shit, I put my notes down. I couldn't even really read that shit. Bro. Um, yeah. She said, I'm heading out. I really enjoyed your point of views. You really... Re- okay, yeah, definitely rewatch it. Yes, I'm I'm lit. I don't even know. Yeah, definitely rewatch it. And good, let yeah. us know what we can really actually help you on. Because we all so about the, helping people. The whole... The whole life, life this is the artist's live stuff is, you know. The whole point, man, is like I was in I was trying to advise somebody, you know, that was telling me that they were having problems as far as their woman was. And of course, you know, you can't choose you can't expect a woman to choose their relationship over their child. But at the same time, if you're trying to <clears throat> like we all need to use each other. Like this is where we're we're on the planet to use each other. We but, all have something that we all need. You have the apples. I have the oranges. At some point, you're going to need some motherfucking vitamin C. At some point, I'm going to need some vitamin D. So you're going to come to my village to get some oranges. I'm going to come to your village to get some apples. That's just how life works, my nigga. Like, it is what it is. So if this woman, just say it hypothetically, if this woman that I love, wants to use me for my masculine energy and wants to use me as a frame of reference to raise her child and to use my masculine standards, you know, for her child to build his legacy off of, at some point I'm going to need some compensation. You feel me? She's going to actually need your ideas and input and actually put them into use. So that right. child can have your legacy and ideas st- installed in him to actually make it work and come into, 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 into you know what I'm saying? So what, what can a single mother, a good single mother, what is, what should they provide? I don't want to say in exchange because yes, if this person has a Hold child, first, if first, I'm not... first of all, first of all, she need to like she need she need to actually, especially if you know, before first time meetings with the kid and a boyfriend and stuff. Right. She need to have two sets of ground rules: one set of ground rules with the kid, one set of ground rules with the boyfriend, so they both have it. Equal understanding before they even meet each other. So what you're saying is pretty much everybody has to adjust to everybody. It's all it always got to be adjustments made. Sure. Everybody has to adjust to everybody. It's, she's 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 like a um, she's pretty much like a football coach. She's got to make in-game adjustments, all types of things. When she sees when she sees a flat. When she sees a penalty, she got to throw the flag. You know what I'm saying? Or, At the same time, like, if 
if I'm a single man, like let's just hypothetically, if I'm a single man and I'm doing all right by myself, if I can live, if I can sustain my own lifestyle, and I'm not an I'm not an ugly person. Well, just because I like this person, I'm willing to, like, okay, I see she has this badass kid. I still, I see she has an unhealthy relationship with this bad motherfucker that's going to stress me out. What are you going to offer me? You, you see what I'm saying? Like, if you have this badass kid that's going to stress me out, like, I could, I could just, just get a fucking 21-year-old college chick that doesn't have any kids. You know what I'm saying? Tell me. There's plenty of them. There's plenty of my mouth, though. Shoot. Oh, you got, oh, you got, oh, you got females out there with good kids, and they don't even need the, you know, anybody to guide them or anything, because the mom does all the discipline and everything, and it's already instilled in them how to behave well. So it's pretty much. Cause I feel like it's gonna it's gonna be a it's gonna be a cycle, because if it's especially if it's a male, the nigga's gonna do the same shit. Like the nigga's gonna grow up and have a a girlfriend eventually, or a or a boyfriend that's gonna have a fucking bad or an unruly child. Which I don't have a problem with homosexuals. Like my dad, said, I don't care about. I don't care what you do. You do. I just say, I just don't. Whatever you do. But it's just like. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm lit as fuck. (laughs) (laughs) Drinking that what? Bamboo? That little wing. What is it called? Sir, that shit is. Got the job. It was only twenty dollars, bro. That shit was fucking good. no. But um, at the end of the day, it's like if I'm taking the time on my day to try to help somebody that doesn't have a like. You want to use my masculine energy. You want to use what I take to sustain my life to expand your legacy because at the end of the day like i love women i love especially everything about women of course because i was raised by a single mom but at the end of the day that's not something expanding your legacy is really not your job that's a man's job to expand your legacy to make your name you know um live on because when you get married you take the nigga's name and if you don't niggas are still not going to remember you for your name because that legacies are not lived through unfortunately you know they're not lived through a womb their legacies are lived through sperm you know but if you're gonna take my time up and you want me to raise your child you want me to expand your legacy you want me to raise your son or your daughter, and you want me to put babies in your stomach? What is the point of me doing that if you're going to, if if there's not going to be any direction? You know what I'm saying? So I think there should be some kind of a, a lot more leeway. And especially because considering now, I should have looked this book up. I'm not going to say it, but there's, I'm not going to expound and say too much, but certain lifestyles were introduced to the African community and to the Latina, Hispanic, Spanish, whatever you want to call yourself, brown community that was not meant for us. You know what I'm saying? And if you're my woman and you're watching this, you know what I'm talking about. There are certain cultures that was introduced to us that was not necessarily meant for us to utilize. And it's like, disabling the families. I mean, I will tell you in ooh, private, my name. Like my argument. Huh? I said, 
So being monogamous and stuff like that is really not meant for the black people. We That's not to... exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, my bad. My that's, bad. Sorry, that's, 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 that's part what... of it. My bad. I thought that's what you were doing too, but. No, not necessarily. Not all of that. That's a part of it. That's a part of it. But for the young black men out there, um, for the young anybody, for anybody out there, I was I was taught at some point in my life, I'm going to say maybe 24, 25, 26, I was taught that, you know, it's impossible for a, a woman to be a single mother and a good girlfriend at the same time, which is not true. I've dated multiple single mothers that were very good girlfriends, and they were very good mothers at the same time. So that's not true. But right. at the same time, bro, Do you do you want to compromise? How much do you want to compromise your manhood? How much do you want? Are you mu- are you that much of a leader? Do you have that leadership inside you to be able to put that energy out there? And you don't want to deal with a crazy baby daddy, bro. Because a lot of niggas out here can't handle. It's not the, it's not the fucking seventies. It's not the eighties. It's not the night. Niggas don't want to know that somebody is fucking on their baby mama every day. Somebody's kissing her on the cheek. Somebody's, wa- just think about that as a woman. Think about that. Somebody's walking up to her every day and smacking her on the ass when she's washing dishes. Somebody's treating her better than you treat her. Somebody is answering all the problems. That you couldn't answer. Can you really handle that? Can you really handle the fact that somebody's doing something like that? Niggas will kill you over that, bro. So you might want to fucking position position yourself a little bit better. I don't know what happened to my cousin because I can barely see. (laughs) But hold on, let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this nigga. I got kicked off. Oh, because. But niggas will kill you. Yeah, what happened? I don't know what happened, bro. Sorry. What kind of shirt is that? Is that a Jimmy Hendrix shirt? What kind of shirt is that? Oh, uh, nah, nah. Let's see, this is like a U.S. Army shirt. That's all. Oh, okay. Haha, <laughs> that's fire, man. That's hard. That should be a probably is a hit. Well, yeah. Do you really want to place yourself in a position? And I'm not trying to fucking downplay the single like of course single moms got the best pussy, bro, and they got all the the snack nigga, they got fruit snacks and lunchables. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you. They do, but I was just playing. That was a joke. But you know, shout out like most most mothers in the country, in America, in the West, are single mothers. So I can't tell you to not. I would never tell you not to fuck with a single mom. But if you're going to fuck with a single mom, don't play. Be long term. And. And not only that, that's, we, we, that's, that's the thing. We're not saying don't date a single mom. We said don't, don't date a single mom in a. And a kid that can't be controlled or a misbehaved You are That's not a saying. fucking parole officer. Don't don't play parole officer. If you want to play stepdaddy, I wouldn't recommend it. But at least if you're going to play stepdaddy, don't be a motherfucking parole officer, bro. Because last not kicking is not. What's the point? What's the point? What's the point? Let that motherfucker call the police on her own motherfucking kid. So you could have anxiety. Oh, this motherfucker is gonna stab me in my sleeve. We gotta lock the door. We gotta hold we gotta get a whole new motherfucking lock. You don't want to no nah, no. Nah. Fuck this shit. I'll oh, say that up. like man. The last time I seen him, he was on the couch sleep. I don't know if he could make the crime or not, because I was sleeping. <laughs> 
I don't know. It was just as soon as I walked in the room and the window was open. It like no. <laughs> <laughs> so why did you? Because I just felt this breeze under the door and I walked in and the window was open. I don't know. <laughs> nah, but... he, he could have done. It. He could not done it. I don't know. Don't put yourself in that position. A woman gotta... is not gonna. The thing about it is, bro. This is not a a a, a single mom, bro. She, this is why when I was, before I had children, before I had my own, I only have one child, before I had my first child, bro, I knew at some point I should not be hanging out with people that have children. Why? Because they are more hungry than the average person on an instinctual level. You feel me? Because when you have a child, you have a bigger push to get money because it's not just you. You know, our African culture teaches us that, see, the Euro, the Eurocentric shit is, it's okay, you can leave. No, bro. When, um, in the, when you're pregnant, when a woman is pregnant, a man, the man that she gets pregnant by, his testosterone drop 40% for six months, bro. Did you know that? And it's replaced, and listen, it's replaced by the hormone that is used to produce breast milk in a woman. Did you know that? This is where we get, I don't know if you know, um, in the South, they always say, oh, um, if you're pregnant, you have a sweet tooth, and you get emotional, and you got to piss a lot, and you act very emotional, and things like that, right? That's what they say in the South. So that's the symptoms of your woman being pregnant because that is an actual fact. Your testosterone drops 40% for six months and it's replaced by the same hormone that's used to replace, uh, that's used to produce breast milk in a pregnant woman, which is a real thing, right? So the thing about it is in the African culture, they say, it's a, the saying is, a woman is pregnant with a baby. A man is pregnant with a pregnant woman and a baby, but the baby is pregnant with a pregnant woman and a man that believes his woman is pregnant. So it's a cycle. You're not supposed to be a, you're not supposed to be away from your woman when she's pregnant. That's fucking stupid. So this whole oh you can get an abortion, it's fine. It's my body. It's my choice. No, bitch. It's not just your body, and it's not just your choice. That's gonna affect my motherfucking hormones and my soul. If you want to fucking kill a baby, nigga, no, it's not just your body. It's not just your choice. We're all pregnant. I'm pregnant with you. You're pregnant with me, and that baby is pregnant with both of us. So, no, don't get a fucking abortion. It's not just your body, and it's not just your choice. Why do you think black people? have the highest population to get an abortion because they're trying to kill us. They do that shit systematically. It's not just your fucking body. It's not just your fucking choice. So stop that dumbass. <laughs> That's not our culture. That's not what the fuck we do. That's not African. That's not motherfucking Spanish. That's not Latino. That's their shit. Let them keep their, let them bitch, let them fucking white people get abortion. That's not what we do. We have souls. We have real hormones. We have that melanin. Let them bitch, let them white bitches get abortion. That we don't do that. Anyways, I think we uh we touched on a lot of um points, and I don't really want to expand on uh, <laughs> too many right. different points. It's cool. I was going to say, yeah, we're going too far with this because you know, not I don't think a lot of too many people like. Some of the stuff we talked about, especially the Man, last they're, they're my family, bro. They've been following me. You know, you know, I say, fuck them anyway. Fuck them anyway. That's my thing. Bro, they love me, bro. These people love me. These are, this is my family. That's, that's but anyways, you, you, you like me, don't like me, I don't give a fuck. I, I do me regardless. That's a fact. But anyways, man, 
It's Aaron Moses. I'm the band. You the band. We the band. Hold together, on. And by the way, by the way, my views and all that shit I say is not reflect on the shirt I wear. It's all my personal thoughts and opinions. So fuck you. Love you though. Love you though, cuz. Hit me up. All day, man. All right. Much love. Every day. Peace. Peace.